very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so let's make a review about the signals that i have sent last week to you saturday, last saturday and let's see if they have actually worked or not now of course before we start we have to agree that this has been really a very tough week so far and we have been affected by the news about um, the upcoming uh, promised uh, vaccine from the company called Moderna and they have announced on last uh, Monday afternoon that their vaccine is effective by 95%. Of course, this news has directly affected the Forex market and let's see now together how did it affect all of the pairs. So, for example, for the EURUSD, the signal was working perfectly fine and it was going in a good profit of almost 43 pips of profit until this news hit the market and as we can see the market has changed the, the direction since then. then. Then going to the pound USD. For the pound USD, the signal has also worked perfectly fine as we can see the reversal happened exactly at the level I have given and it was going in almost 50, almost 60 pips of profit before this news also hit the market. AUD USD signal didn't work fine until now. As we can see right now only is going in 13 pips of profit. USD CAD also was going in the, into the profit uh, until uh, Monday afternoon when, when this news hit the market about the vaccine. And right now, as we can see, the correction is happening. Uh, USD CAD is, is still now again in the profit. USD GPY signal also didn't work exactly from the level I have given. However, right now it seems like it's reversing. As, as we can see, the signal is, is, not, is right now active and should not be touched. Uh, USD CHF also, it has worked perfectly fine. As we can see, USD CHF was going in almost, I think it was the highest one, 50 pips of profit. And um, after this news, of course, about the vaccine hit the market, it also went down. However, the correction has finished. And right now, the market is actually going in the profit again. For the gold, it was a different story, as we can see. Not different story, actually. It was a bigger story than that. So the gold, once they have announced these news, it has affected the gold directly. And the gold has actually moved for more than 300 pips before actually correcting its direction again. So... What I'm trying to say here is this news actually has really affected the signals. However, we are not the one to be blamed about what happened because, of course, this news has also affected the signals in the premium group as well. And there was nothing to do to be done about that because, yeah, it has just changed all of our our calculations. So what we can do right now, what are the things uh, that we can expect to do this week in the market? So let me now go to the midweek analysis and let's discuss together the signals that we are uh, going to take. So of course, let's start with the Euro USD. Now the Euro USD signal, in my opinion, is still valid and we can keep the trade running in the, in the cell. However, uh, for those who haven't entered this signal yet, we can actually change the entry level. Now, if we look carefully here, we can see that we have here a new key resistance level has just appeared right here exactly right here on 1.8690 and if we zoom in we can notice that this resistance which is right here has already been again retested here and creating a resistance number one so we can expect from the market to rise a little bit more to hit this level again and creating a resistance number two and from that point right here is going to be a good idea in my opinion to start again shorting the euro usd however we are going to change the take profit levels because uh, not right now I don't think the pair is going to reach this uh, take, pro take profit level this week. So let's change the, the, the signal of the Euro USD for those who haven't entered it yet. So the new sell order is going to be replaced on, uh, sorry, going to be placed at 1.18690. And let me just change also the edge of the safe zone to be like this. Yeah, from here and i think there is no need to change the other edge of the safe zone so the signal is going to be valid for almost 45 pips before it goes in loss now the take profit level however is going to be changed and we are going to select this support level right here i uh, just want to be sure just want to be sure it's the right level actually my eyes looking here i want to align my line uh, perfectly fine on the support levels that should be fine. Yes, like that. 
So we are aiming right now from the Euro USD almost 66 pips of profit. Hopefully we'll make them all. And let's just uh, uh, change the take profit level to be 1.18040. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna be also a valid signal and we will make good profit out of it. Now for the pound USD, pound USD also has changed the direction. Of course, the take profit level is gonna be changed and the signal itself is gonna be changed as well. So now what's happening to the pound? The pound actually has been affected by the uh, recent news that next week they are planning to uh, announce if there will be a deal or no deal of Brexit. Man, this is so boring already. Since more than four years, they are talking about this. Since more than four years, I think almost every week I'm waking up with a deal or no deal in news. Deal or no deal. Man, just get it done already. Just get out of Europe. I don't care if deal or no deal. Uh, actually, this has been affected the market so badly. Now, let's discuss now what's going to happen to the pound USD. Now, because of this in news, of course, the signal has been changed. And right now, in my opinion, uh, the pound USD seems like it's rising so therefore we need to change the signal now the pound USD is still good for the short however we need to understand from where we can start shorting it now moving to the daily candles we can see right here that we had uh, 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 of the top here on uh, this level 1.3082 we had a strong resistance level and what we can notice here is that the market actually has made two fake breakouts from that level and every single time when the market actually attempted to break out from that level, it immediately fall down. So we can see right here that the market has actually break out from the, from the level. However, there was a strong bearish movement right after that. Even here, when the market seemed like it actually made the break out from that level, immediately strong bearish fall. And each time there was actually a strong pin bar. Then on the third time, we can see that this, this level has been completely respected and the price could uh, actually the market couldn't actually go above that level. So analyzing all of that indicates as a very uh, strong resistance level, which cannot be ignored. Therefore, this is exactly where we are going to short the pound USD. We have to wait for it to rise for almost 50 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. So pound usd should be good for the short this week again sell at 1.3082 right here and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging uh i think 50 pips should be fine no that's a lot yeah until the top of that resistance level so yep exactly like that like this perfectly fine yes just like that and uh, let's go to the daily candles so we have to wait for the pound USD to rise for that resistance before it's going to be valid for the short. And this time regarding the take profit level, um, I'm not going to give you a um, big target. We're just going to aim until only this support level right here, which is also going to be the, re uh, the retest of the broken resistance, which should be fine really. So the take profit level is going to be given right here on 1.31927 hopefully also it's going to work out uh, well for us and will bring us some good profits let's hope that this uh, the pair actually we ju let's just hope that the pair can actually reach this level today so we can get uh, the maximum of this signal now let's look at the AUDUSD uh, regarding the AUDUSD I'm not going to change anything in the signal the signal seems like it's going very well just adjusting for you to make it easier as you can see the the pair right now is rising however um all in all we are having right now here a double top pattern and seems like the pair is actually going to respect that uh, pattern and we are having here multiple resistance attempts and we are having here another bearish breakout candle from the support from the support and therefore uh, AUD USD signal is still valid and I think it's going to be a profitable one. Now, let's go to the USD CAD. USD CAD also is going to be a profitable signal. I think there is no need to change anything in the signal. Um, we just need to pay attention that the pair actually might fall again down to the same level of the, of the support, retesting it, and again, it's going to continue the rise. So you have to be careful. And if you have entered the signal, please consider that the pair actually might go back again in the safe zone 
before be finally in the profits. USTGPY. USTGPY actually hasn't been activated exactly from the level I have given to you to buy the pair. However, if we look carefully, we can see that the pair actually is now respecting that support level right here. The support on 104.031. And also in the past right here, we can see this pair has been respected twice. And right now, this level again is uh, strong enough to actually uh, make the pair reverse from that level. So that means that the signal is right now active. However, it's just inside the safe zone right now. So there is nothing really to be changed about this signal. We just have to wait until it's been in profit. I think eventually it's going to be in profit by end of the, uh, of, the, of the day. So the signal for the USDGPY remains the same. Also for the USDCHF, the signal is going to remain the same as long as it's in profit. And the pair actually has reversed exactly from the level I have given last week. Now moving to the gold. The gold actually have a different story. Because as you can see here, the pair actually has fallen for more than 300 pips. Uh, of course, that was upon the news about the vaccine. And again, the market is back again to its uh, correct level. Then after that, the gold has started to fall. Now that telling us that the, the gold actually losing its strength right now. And if I'm not mistaken, it's going to continue the fall all the way until it, uh, it hit that support level. So what we are going to do this week with the gold? By the way, before that, before that, I have to say something here. The gold this week actually has hit the take profit level even before going to the, to the entry level. W when Monday afternoon, before they announced the news about the vaccine, as we can see right here, the pair actually has went all the way starting from Monday opening and went directly all the way to the take profit level. Let me just announce here that this actually makes the signal completely disqualified because if the signal has already hit in the take profit level without reaching the entry point, then please don't take it anymore. We are sitting here at take profit level for a reason. We are expecting the pair to reach that level. So if the pair actually has reversed from the take profit level, then after that went to the entry, then please don't enter this signal. Anyway. Let's now discuss uh, what we can do next with the gold. Now, let me go to the daily candles and of course delete all of these numbers. Now, as I said before, this support right here of the gold is very, very strong. As we can see, this level 1863.32. 1, this is very strong level of the support. And it has been respected so many times and the gold actually failed to break out from that level so many times. Even recently, last Monday, we can see right here that the pair has actually made this strong bearish movement upon the news, of course, and actually it has reversed exactly on that level as well. That means this level is very strong and most likely what will gonna happen now is that the pair gonna uh, visit that level again after seeing the price action here, which indicates a bearish movement. Now what we can do with the gold is we, we actually need to short the gold as soon as possible. So what we're going to do is we are hoping that the gold actually might reverse exactly at that support level. As you can see, we're having here a support level and here it was also a support. So we are hope hoping that the pair actually might reverse. And this time we're going to place the, the sell order right here on that on the level of the resistance. So we can start shorting the gold at 1882 exactly there. Right here. And what we can see right here is we had here a resistance number one after the bearish breakout candle and we are hoping for shorting again after resistance number two. Keep in mind that the trend is going down in a bearish momentum and therefore uh, shorting here I think is going to be uh, ideal. Now the take profit level however is going to be changed to be exactly the level of the support level right here. As you can see we are having here the support and here as well and of course this one here. So this is going to be our take profit level because after that, I believe that the gold is actually, actually we're not sure what will going to happen to the gold after reaching that level. If it's going to this time succeed to break out from the level or if it's going to reverse, we don't care as a traders because we are going to make some good profit, hopefully from shorting the gold at that certain level right here. So the take, the, the, the safe zone should be actually ranging until the top of that resistance right here. 
uh, which actually has been uh, retested so many times here indicating of course a strength in the level so it's gonna be almost 80 pips of the safe zone and right here we're going to draw uh, the edge of the safe zone like that and the take profit level is gonna be given yeah take profit level on 1867.40 so there goes the, the signals for the midweek uh, analysis and guys i'm telling you please be careful be aware for these unexpected news don't ever trade with a big lot size these news actually can hit the market at any moment if you are not careful enough so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching